One of the best experiments for where the feet should go, which I learned years ago from Paul Katz, is a test that's easy to do. If you sit with your feet under the chair and try to rotate around your pelvis, you'll find it rather difficult to do. But if you just put the legs out in front and then rotate, you'll see how much more in balance you are. And we need to be able to use this rotation movement in our playing. There are lots of ways to hold the cello. I personally hold it rather straight so that the F holes face in front and the sound goes directly out. And for me, there are three places that I like to look for to find the best position for holding the cello. First, that it touches you in the middle of the chest, not too high and not too low. Secondly, that there's some room under the neck. I usually say about three fingers so that we have flexibility to be able to move. And that the lower bouts of the cello are inside your legs so the cello can rub along the lower legs without catching. That'll become important for the kind of balancing movements that we'll be doing next.